Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot bringing Aries their weekly love reads. Aries, this is for the week of April 25th through March 1st. We're going to do you, them, and the connection, guys. Um, we're going to get some Sacred Healing Journey cards from Angelic Revelation 144, the Hermit Tarot channel, Channeled Love Messages, Love Vibe cards from King of Aloha, the Hidden Truth Oracle, oh, those all count, the Hidden Truth Oracle card from All Things Intuitive, White Rose Guidance, Divine Love Messages. And then we're going to finish off your read with an Angel Guide Oracle from Kyle Gray. Um, like I said, we're going to do you, them, and the connection. These are general reads, so please take what resonates and leave the rest. If you feel like this is not your read, feel free to check your moon and your rising signs. If you're unclear of what your moon and your rising signs are, there is a link in the description box below um, that will get you the information. Um, there's also a link in the description box below that will take you to my website if you're interested in a personal read. Um, check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all your support. Let's get into this, guys. All right, Aries. So I feel like at the bottom of the deck is the moon card. Oh, and the strength card right after that. So Pisces, Leo, Wheel of Fortune. Um, I feel like the moon card being here with the drink card right underneath it is um you're going to really have to be tapping into your intuition you're really going to have to be utilizing your strength for a situation i think something that is um done in the dark will come to light um so you'll light will be shed upon a situation this is kind of like secrets and illusions um i think you will be really needing like i said to tap into your intuition and use some strength oh look what's popping out in the back here the empress um but I don't think it's bad stuff. I think it's really more kind of just going with your gut feeling um, in this situation. So Aries, we have you showing up as the Judgment card, the Seven of Wands, and the Ace of Swords. So I feel like what you've been doing recently is really kind of evaluating yourself. This Judgment card is kind of looking at what is it that you want in your life? What is it that you need in your life? What is it that you're willing to do to get it? Um, you're evaluating yourself. You're evaluating your um, situations, how you handle yourself, how you feel about things, what's important to you, what's not important to you, what your goals are. You're really kind of doing a full scan of everything that um, happens in your life and what it is that you want in your life and what do you need to do to get what you need. Um, within this judgment card here, you are definitely seeking mental clarity with this Ace of Swords. This is like a new, stable, clear start. So perhaps this is something um, you've been kind of working towards um, with this Seven of Wands. Like she's kind of meditating here, but she's really been keeping herself guarded um, from other things. But I feel like this is a very healing energy, right? So I think you're kind of um, keeping yourself protected getting full clarity on what it is that you want, cutting out what doesn't serve you, really doing a full evaluation of yourself to figure out what you need, what you want in a relationship or in your, excuse me, pardon me, in your life. So your person, I feel like is really kind of healing, right? So we have um, the Eight of Swords energy here, which is uh, self-sabotage. So this person is looking at situations much worse than what they really are. If you look in this card here, if you look at this card, this lady outside of the mirror is not bound. She's not blindfolded. She's not tied up by crows. She's very much free um, and is not uh, not not bound in, in um, not bound. I can't think of the word I want to use. But um, she's very much free to make choices, free to make her own decisions, but she's stuck up in her head. She's telling herself negative things. Um, she is self-sabotaging her situations, which might be why you might need to have some strength and really tap into your intuition because this person uh, might not be presenting as somebody you want. You might be thinking this person's kind of a mess. Um, but I feel like uh, that is going to be coming to an end. This Ten of Swords energy here is an ending of something. It can be a backstabbing or a betrayal. Um, definitely not sad ending, but when something ends, something better comes along, right? One door closes, another one opens. Endings bring new beginnings. So I feel like this person is kind of coming out of that self-sabotage stage. Um, they're kind of surrendering to the pause. They're kind of surrendering to what is. They're doing some healing. So this is the hangman energy. So I feel like Aries, this is someone really um, healing their soul, mind and body, and just kind of like, you know, that saying it is what it is, is 
you know, it is what it is and I'm going to go with the flow and I'm going to allow things to happen um, and not kind of freak out over things, self-sabotage. I'm going to just let this be uh, and kind of figure out what I need to do from there. Um, for the connection, it's, it's a nice connection. Actually, we have the Queen of Swords. We have the Lover's card and the Six of Wands. So I feel like this Queen of Swords, again, is kind of that mental clarity and evaluation you're doing and the hangman energy that your person is doing. I feel like this relationship, um, you guys will be able to come together as intellectuals. You'll be able to communicate what you want out of this relationship, what you need to cut out to get to what you want in this relationship. I think you'll be able to have a lot of logical, intellectual, stimulating conversations to kind of be on the same page. I think, um, you know, the Queen of Wands is a good communicator. I mean, Queen of Swords is a good communicator, sometimes a bit harsh, um, but you will figure out what you need to cut out. You will figure out what you need. Um, direct communication is always good. Just be kind with your words uh, on both sides, guys. Um, I definitely feel like this is a true love soulmate connection. I don't think you're um, pondering between two people. I think your choice here is more like, is this the person I want? They're so up in their head. They seem so damaged right now. Um, you're going to kind of uh, have to pick a pick a choice um, of moving forward in love or kind of staying single. But I definitely see you moving forward in love. I feel like that's just going to be like a thought you're contemplating. Um I definitely see this as a true love, soulmate, union, marriage card, um, eventual marriage, or definitely higher level commitment. Um, it's also showing up as a six of wands. This is uh, love is victorious, uh, love conquering all. I do see this being a passionate connection. Um, definitely one with lots of love, passionate, exciting. It will be successful. It'll be one with direct communication about how you feel, about how you think, about how you act, about what you want. Um, I think it'll be a really good connection, actually. I think, like, again, though, it won't always be the easiest road. You'll have to tap into your intuition and really use that strength um, to figure out what and how to get what you need. All right, guys, we're going to get a couple of Sacred Healing Journey cards from Angelic Revelation 144. New Experiences, Adventure crying, upset, emotional, feeling hurt. I feel like that's your person. Musical messages and love songs. So perhaps you guys will kind of connect with music. Maybe you send each other clips on, like for YouTube videos. Gifts, selecting special gifts to show love. And uplifting, lifting each other up. So I think I think as much as your person's kind of stuck in their own head, once they feel healed and, and, and kind of move on from the hangman energy, they're going to be able to uplift you as well as you them. So um, I feel like it will be a definite soul connection, soulmate energy. So um, I don't think you'll be missing out. All right, we're going to get a couple of Hermit Tarot channeled love messages. Ten, you are my everything. So this person... And you are going to feel like um, you guys are the end-all, be-all with each other. Um, I could be your hero, baby. Six. I could take away your pain, right? That's that love message. That's a song, right? Enrique Iglesias. Um, I think we should slow down. That's probably your person. I dream about you a lot. Too much. Interesting, we have two sevens here too. So we have a ten, six, and two sevens. All right, guys, let's get a love vibes card from King of Aloha or three. I want three actually, so hopefully we can get three cards. I see myself having kids with you. You're my ideal type. You can trust me with your heart. I know we're soulmates. I feel like those are all connect, um, comments coming from you to them. And then they're saying, I'm pushing you away because I'm scared of commitment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we're going to get a couple of hidden truth oracle cards from all things intuitive for Aries and their person. This could be either to Aries from their person or to their person from Aries. Let's see what Aries needs to hear. I remember every detail of that day. We need to let each other go. <laughs> I think, again, that's your person. 
I replay conversations, our conversations over and over. Sometimes I lay awake at night thinking about you. All right, guys, let's get a couple of white rose guidance, divine love messages between Aries and their person. That's too many. Sorry, guys, not taking all those. I am so lost in the ocean that is you. Nice. I will do anything to bring you happiness. I feel so much beauty, harmony, sweetness, and shelter between us. Nice. I think you're going to have to reassure your person, Aries. And that might not be something you like to do or want to do, but you're going to be willing to do that for this person. Uh, and to finish off your week, guys, we're going to get an Angel Guide Oracle card from Kyle Gray. All right, my nose is freezing. And yes, oh, somebody else got this one. Let's read it for you guys to give you your message. All right. Yes, yes, yes. The answer is yes. Proceed. Go forth. Achieve. Enjoy. Don't hold back. The time is now. Rise up. Fly high. Light up. Express yourself. Experience and share. This card is a huge thumbs up. If you're making a decision, the answer is yes. Go for it. This is a time for positivity, celebration, and progress. Angels are encouraging you to let in the light and enjoy it. All of your hard work is paying off. Any endeavors, projects, and opportunities before you are now getting the green light. If you've been holding off for the right time, the time is now, and you're being encouraged to take the next step. You are good to go. If you're feeling scared or worried, that's okay. Invite in help. Angels are there to guide you, and they want to be a part of your success. So relax and experience the joy that is unfolding for you now. All right, Aries, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel inclined to do so. I appreciate all your support, guys. Take care and until next time. Bye-bye.